Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be briefly discussing the newly released, or it's been out for a little while, but the new Microsoft Edge browser that is based off of the Chromium open source project. Now, if you haven't really heard the news, back in 2018, Microsoft announced that they would be moving away from the current version of Edge that is on Windows 10 and making it or making a new version based on an open source platform. And they announced in this blog post here that was posted on December 6, 2018, that that open source project would be Chromium, which is the underlying um, open source project that powers Google Chrome. Now, I personally find this hilarious because Microsoft back in 2013 ran this huge ad campaign called Scroogled. They did this ad spot where they hired the Pawn Stars. They shot this whole ad in like the Pawn Stars store. Uh, they had this lady bring in a Google Chromebook and Rick basically talked about how bad it was, how it was basically a brick when it wasn't online. It was very anti-Google Chrome, so I just find it incredibly hilarious that they're now basing their flagship browser on Google Chrome's underlying open source engine and technologies. There was also this beautiful bit during that ad. Google is always trying to find ways to make more money off your personal information. This Chromebook hardware makes it even easier for them. And yeah, I don't really think that's looking too good for you now, Microsoft, don't you think? <laughs> but anyway, that's besides the point. So this browser, this new beta development version of Microsoft Edge has been out for a little while now. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually get in on this and test it out to see if it might be something that you want to use instead of Google Chrome. Now it is still in development, so you have to be prepared for that. There are probably going to be bugs and uh, features that do not work correctly. It just seems to me like Google Chrome is slowly taking over the browser market, at least the underlying Chromium project is because we've got obviously Google Chrome based off of it. Opera is now based off of it. There's a bit of a newer browser called Vivaldi that is based off of it. And now we have Microsoft Edge. So there's four um, pretty reputable browsers that are based off of Google Chrome's underlying um, open source technologies. But if you're interested in checking this out, head on over to MicrosoftEdgeInsider.com. Uh, and this is the official development website of this project. And you can click on this download dev channel for Windows 10. This is the version that I downloaded. But if you go to more platforms and channels, they do have three different uh, development channels. The first is the beta channel, which is updated every six weeks. You see that it's not available yet. Then the dev channel, which is updated weekly. And then they have the Canary channel, which is updated daily. The Chromium project, which is what Edge is based on, also has this same release structure. They've got a stable release, a beta channel, which is this one here that is not released, a dev channel, and a Canary channel. So they're basically just going by that same channel structure which kind of makes sense because it is a chromium based project so it would make sense to go by the same uh channel structure that chromium has oh that's actually cool i didn't realize that they were releasing it on windows 8.1 windows 8 windows 7 and mac os too so that's interesting but it does come in a completely separate program you can still use the regular microsoft edge this is the icon for the development version you see that it has uh, the same edge icon, but it's got just the dev uh, word painted over in green. You can still launch the regular Microsoft Edge. This doesn't override it or anything. So yeah, this is it. It looks a lot like Chrome. It is just something that you're probably going to hear me say a lot in this video. You're probably going to hear a lot of other people say. So one thing that I noticed when I opened this browser up for the first time, mind you, it didn't prompt me with anything. It didn't ask me any questions. It automatically... Um, brought all of my bookmarks, all of my browsing history, and this will also work with your saved passwords as well into Microsoft Edge. Now again, it didn't prompt me, it didn't bring me up with any wizard saying like, do you wanna import stuff from Chrome? It just had it in here. It was probably just because that since this is based off of uh, Chromium, it just is accessing the same database and the same files that Google Chrome uses to store this information. You can also, let me go ahead and just show you here, you can add Chrome Web Store extensions to Microsoft Edge. You can see that when you go to the Chrome Web Store, you have this banner up here that says you can now add extensions from the Chrome Web Store to Microsoft Edge. They also have this allow extensions from other stores button that you have to press to allow it because by default, it's only gonna let you use the the Microsoft Edge store, which I guess is a thing now, but I didn't think it was. Um, so you have to actually allow it to install apps from third-party stores or to install extensions from third-party stores. But if I wanna try out, you know, Honey right here, we'll add to Chrome. 
add extension and it's going to add now it does say microsoft edge they've basically changed all of the text in the actual browser itself to say microsoft edge so normally that uh, pop up there would say honey has been added to chrome it just changed it to microsoft edge now in here it's you know on the web store itself it's going to say remove from chrome or add to chrome that's just because the web store is that way but I just thought that was very, very cool as well. Now, just like in Chrome, you can also have separate profiles and you can also sign in to Edge, but you have to use your Microsoft account. You can't use your Google account. And that is something to be expected uh, as well. They've also got this um, button up here, which I initially thought was like the feature in Edge where you can draw on the screen and like annotate things. But this is actually a feedback button. So you can press on this and it'll pop up with this window and it'll allow you to send feedback of any bugs or issues that you're having to Microsoft for them to take a look at. It has this same menu over here, like the same three dot menu that you can click on to access all of your settings and your, you know, print function find on page. I use keyboard shortcuts for most of this stuff, but if you didn't use keyboard shortcuts, this is where you can access all of that. And just to show you in Chrome here, uh, Chrome has it laid out a little bit of a different way. It's got it vertically rather than horizontally in uh, Microsoft Edge, you know, for the icon up here. But it's got this same menu here. It just doesn't have any icons for each of these things. Microsoft has went ahead and added icons, which is actually a pretty nice touch. But all of these are the Edge icons. These are not taken from Google Chrome. Now, if we go into settings here, this is where that most of the changes, at least visually, can be seen this entire setup looks way different and to show you what uh, google chrome's settings page looks like if you forgot it looks like this they used to have um all of these menu options on the side here but they took that away in a previous update it was probably like a while ago and now you have this like fly out menu and everything has been condensed into these simple categories you have people appearance search engine blah 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 and then you can go into advanced to access all of this stuff so yeah this is the way that microsoft edge looks in this menu here and you can go to you know import browser data you can do all, all the same stuff you can add different profiles like you do in um, google chrome you can even set these icons here these do appear to be uh, different than what is in Chrome, so that's interesting. You can go to About Microsoft Edge, and they do say right here, this browser is made possible by the Chromium Open Source Project, another open source software. Uh, it is up to date. This is the latest dev build, at least as of this video. And I do believe that they are just going by the regular um, Chromium build string for their version number here because they're already on version 75 and this isn't even an officially released project yet. So I think that they're just going by what um, you know Chromium uses for all of their versions and th uh, their build strings. They're just going by that, which again, makes sense. Now, something else that you can do, and this is evident in a lot of the uh, Chromium-based browsers out there. If you saw it when we were on this settings page here, let me just go back into it that it has this edge icon here saying that this is a microsoft edge secure page it's just an internal browser page and so it has this edge colon double slash prefix in front of whatever it is now what's interesting is you can do the same thing with the chrome prefix so i can type out chrome colon double backslash settings and it'll bring me to the same page i can do that with any page i can type in chrome colon double backslash bookmarks and it'll autocorrect to what Edge is, you know, calling them favorites instead of bookmarks. I can bring, you know, it'll automatically know to go to this page. I can type in Chrome colon slash slash Chrome dash URLs. And it'll bring up, it'll obviously correct it to Edge, Edge URLs, but it'll bring up all of the internal URLs. But there you have it, guys. That is a very, very brief demonstration and quick look at the Chromium-based Microsoft Edge browser. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever I upload a new video, which I do every single week on this channel. And also be sure to drop me a comment letting me know if this is a browser that you could see yourself using. Um, do you think that it's pretty funny that, you know, in Microsoft's previous anti-Google ad campaigns that they're now going to a Google-based project on uh, their flagship web browser? I think that, that that's pretty funny. Um, be sure also to let me know what browser that you guys currently use. Do you use a Chromium-based browser like Google Chrome, Vivaldi, or Opera, or do you use something else like Firefox? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And as always, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you 
in the next video.